come. <laughs> <laughs> we are hustling too. Well, Everybody in our street every day. <laughs> all right, looking at this border closure now, some people don't come outside talk say na blessing. Some people don't come outside talk say na cause. For some people, they favor some. For some other few people, you know they favor them at all at all, especially the neighboring countries. And looking at the agreement we don't sign with all 55 other countries in terms of the ECOWAS community and how we go take promote the free trade zone and free trading between this between these countries. We don't see and now say um, some people they lament and their own shouting. He high past some people where they sing and where they dance on top of. Please explain to us how this um, border closure they get in many blessings and curses. So, so everything where we do for life, you get good side, you get bad side. Mm -hmm. And if you want grow, you know, uh, at the earliest of the first way they fast, you get what you won't get from God. And this period now, what they like fasting to us. We know say the results go pay us. Because if we know do one now and we see the collect all these things, people where they here to go see shouts. Say um, our own thing, I do something, you know, sell for market because they don't bring the one where no good from another country enter. So it is very important. May we now agree. Say we go all put ourselves together. Move, support government, may they do this thing. But this period, within me I just feel. You say we for don't plan now. At least give enough notice. Many people also put these things together. I don't sit down with plenty of government people who don't talk this matter. Since last year, some other countries where they shout now, where they talk, say this thing, they where they import the rice, they know they chop them. Now, basmatic, they, they chop for their own country. They come, they import this yeah, rice. Come so you can't see them for Nigeria. I go Benue where well last year, I go at least for road, more than 20, 30 times, so I drive for that road. Go see custom, they stop car, they look for all those rice. Because they go small, go and in. Nobody says this rice is good, pass our own for here. Our own is even still there, nutritious. I don't, at least, I don't work for Abate Lake. I don't chop their rice. I school for Mina. I don't, we they went as student that year, we will mm -hmm. go market, go buy rice, where be white rice. Mm -hmm. And those rice, they better pass all these other, even they more nutritional. We get our father rice. Mm -hmm. Now, now for, no, we can't grow this thing. Make this thing, we say, internally, we defeat it, our demand. Now, we think we solve our problem. Rather than more, they expect oh, there's all this pain. You know, they would just say oh, because you be rich man or you date TV. Or, it affects me too now. I normally every three months go 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 buy fourteen thousand naira uh, one bag or sixteen thousand one bag. We go day house. First day, what we go about uh, a few weeks ago, me, me and my wife. Impressed. First thing we discover, they say now twenty thousand. Mm -hmm. On Sunday, by the time it be Wednesday, why pack the money come out? The, the rise don't become twenty five. So nobody say no, they affect all of us. Because mm -hmm. the day where I go there, nobody say I get the 6,000 to take argument. Now when I also the money come out, we go again, the thing don't increase. So now everybody is saying affect. But if we agree, pull hand the government, what we grow this matter, we go, the thing will work. Now you don't actually come outside talk, say you get your own positive side. Um, say it will actually help for us to focus more on our own internal food production. But maybe we talk about those way legitimately that they actually do um, this exporting and importing kind of business, how does one say actually affect them? So, so you get two levels of agreements where Nigeria gets. So the ECOWAS agreement with the 16, is it 16 or 19 member state day? And then the one where we can't get across Africa day, the one where they sign maybe yeah, early this year. Um, uh, yeah. yeah, exactly. Now, so the, the issue be say, um, you feel, you feel agree, say, now waiting community won't do be this old. I we think all of us for Africa won't do, we think West Africa won't do with this. But it they affect us. Because some of these things where they where we even sign, no way where they take the vet time. So for ECOWAS now, it gets standard. Even if they do import and export, standard they if you meet the standard, they're not gonna stop you. Because you go to say, okay, oh, see what I pack come on, make the check out. But now people where they smuggle. Nine get this problem, but and because we get very porous border, plenty smuggle done. People where we say now, what do they do for money till night? You go see. I know people die here for. But truly, even the one way they actually follow mm -hmm. the standard now, they come outside complaints. Say corruption, even in the custom service, they actually affect them this period. Yeah, so those ones now, eh, we and now need to say, may government go touch like those places. May they go check, because it's very important. You will know if you just talk, say person they corrupt, where you know bring out evidence. So if they begin to bring out evidence, one, two, three, four evidence, people go sit up now and then we will use technology. 
80 percent of everything with the talk so 90 percent of this corruption problem go solve technology they solve plenty of things for office where they steal money for example everybody get business they will get office my office for example now accountant know they see money nobody say we know they do cash so if you want to buy for you go use atm card buy them you want to do you go use atm so to still become difficult but if you they say maybe person collect cash somewhere or something or you want to apply for something, you go still say, maybe person talk to one person. Ah, thief now. Mm. Nah, so thief take the start. Because now waiting, you no control. Mm. Now, now there are people, they steal. But if you give opportunities, say, okay, see, as this thing, they work. Oh, like um, when we want to collect national ID card or something, everybody go go there, register now. But if you, they talk, say, maybe if somebody, they do one physical something, now there will go come there, yes, uh, bring some money, make I help you. So now get the matter there, and if you know, say you did right, where you get your goods, everything, your paper complete, you no go fear. If you see police for road, where police they stop, or road safety, or VIO, they stop people. Why people they run? Now, Why people paper no complete now? Looking at the situation, because um, now where they don't ban some things, now actually they're talking about over 40 items. Now you know, suppose they enter into the country, but we still see some of these things till they enter the country. Now only your money, now you go determine where you fit to get them because it's still readily available. So this one they bring to question, how effective this border, this border, border closure day? Because take for example, if you want to buy turkey, you go still see them for market if you will get the money to buy them. The only thing is if you buy them before for 1,002, you fit to see them for 2,500 or 3,000 Naira. If you want to buy imported rice, it's still there for inside market. Now just your money, nine kilo. If you want to buy imported vegetable oil, because vegetable oil are some of the things where you know, you're not supposed to enter okay, into the yeah. country. And if they don't close the border since August, so people will not even get them in store. Suppose don't sell them off, finish. But yet, we're still seeing that some people still have a constant steady supply of this banned imported goods in Nigeria. So, so, so specifically, that's what they're working on. Yeah, because no, even because while they're working on it, it traders they actually come outside, they complain, say they are being victimized because we don't see videos of custom going to this marketplace to actually go collect all these goods destroy and people they call to, uh, to destroy it. What so right do the customs have? In making and in, in going to the end pro, end end seller, where be the market so, woman so, and market man, so, when the team went through their own border, where they're supposed to check mates. So, so is the function of NAVDAC to do that? It's not that of the customs, except they want to work as joint agencies to make it happen by practice. From what I know about the do we Nigeria even order. know which one they even work again? Because so, now, so would it not be your own duty? Do they actually do them? So, so waiting, they there, we say, if every agency they do waiting, they're supposed to. Some of these things, so far, you don't pass that customs. Now that they there, standard organization of Nigeria, they there on some other things. So, food control, that's why we we'll get food uh, and health safety officers around town, the day town. I'll be, you know, those wole wole, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. all those things, they day. Now, them supposed to carry out that enforcement, but we like say, you know, when the thing don't enter. They too still won't do their work. You know, by law, you get a number of kilometers where customs supposed to stay from border for Nigeria. But because the thing don't enter town, that's why they, they do all this small pop and all of that. I believe so when they finish all this process, so they go fear enforcement. Before now, you they see custom for market. Nobody now that they control all those things. Nobody now that they go collect uh, food poisoning, all those things for town. Mm -hmm. Now so we be now. So they too get police where they follow them. At that time it's a civil not a border matter now. Now, we say, okay, maybe they get tips, say, okay, this level of information deal. Now, they go go respond, but I don't expect, say, make us on the go market. Mm -hmm. Me, I go say, me now that go do that work. But now what we talk about now, the, the, the implication of this particular border closure on our relations with other countries. Now, just recently, we received, uh, when um, Ghana, we actually come outside, talk, say, um, Ghanaian traders, um, say that they weep or that they cry. And even we don't see pictures of even some Nigerian shops in Ghana being shut down. So how does one go actually affect legit business Nigerian men outside and even our relationship with these neighboring countries? Okay, so this thing will affect us more. But um, we're still big brother. <laughs> no matter how we want to talk. First, economic power gives you a lot of crazy yeah. power. Mm -hmm. Crazy power. So the kind of volume of transaction that we do as a country with every other neighboring country is so powerful that we can make things happen. So we're not saying that it won't hurt some people 
and there is no, whether we leave it or we don't leave it, it will still hurt some people. We leave it, we are hurting ourselves more. We close it, we are trying to develop ourselves. That's just the truth. Now, the way this thing will work, it's very simple. Um, the whole story now, made the novice. We won't grow our own too. Because they too, they bring things come. We go to say, okay, this thing legit. Oh. Now, the legit, we know to say, it no go affect you too. You understand? But you go just gas and deal. Because get some things where you know fit control. Now, government policy. Now, no be one person sit down and say they won't just close. No be only president sit down. In go down, and your advisors don't look. They don't do research. They don't check. No, um, last year, I sit down with one of the you know, uh, top, top government people. We did discuss. I didn't tell a story, like two stories. What didn't tell me? Say, one of which, they say, when they, they talk this importation of rice, Nigeria know they import. When Nigeria banned the importation of that rice officially, we know they take rice again. The country where no plenty riches, they import almost the volume where we they import as Nigeria. So when the rice come, they go. They come call them. They ask, <coughs> okay, oh, government, gov government to government, what thing they happen for that place? Why not they do this kind of importation? They tell us, uh, say that they import for another country, for what be Niger, and all of that. Say because they did landlock, they no get where person free carry vessel enter. So okay, no problem. When I continue. When they later discover, say, the rice where they even they import, they know they chop and abasmatic day they, they chop. Mm. The day where they import for abasmatic day they, they chop. Mm. Now, this rice, where now they import, where they go? Mm. Good question. So, you get where the rice they go, now, now, now they, but now they chop and for their own country. Mm. But where the rice they go, but now they import the same volume of rice. So, where the rice come, they go, now here they end up. Mm -hmm. it, the person does they get one day when go, they come from. Um, uh, for Castina, as in convoy they come. Then they see some uh, small glass run enter in convoy for road with their rice or inside, inside boots. Customs they pursue them. The guys catch them. So you can see, say, different, different, different aspect of these things they involved. Not be only us. So if we know Duan, those other people to know go stop the importation. If to say they don't stop the importation, we no go close border. Now just to send signal, say, look, we too, we know what thing that they do. Well, this year don't be like um, um, Christmas year since we didn't stop the close the border, the closure of the borders for inside of Nigeria because Nigerian Customs Service come outside talk say they've been recording um, the amount of money that they make daily is as, as high as five billion naira because they catch a lot of the people they smuggle the rice and some other contrabands with it for there. Now the borders are closed and we're looking inwards, which is a good thing. And people they come outside they say, okay, make we see the quality of these goods who they talk about because Nigerians now are ready to eat locally produced. But the problem we didn't get now consistency, standardization, quality of product. Because even if we decide to generate everything, with me the assurance say when they open that border, Nigeria is not going to still prefer the imported ones we go enter. Okay, so what thing will happen, you say, as a stand now, when you start to the use, if you remember when they first packed Chinko phone enter that year, mm -hmm. you know say Chinko phone no good reach as it is so. Mm -hmm. Now gradually we we'll go to arrive there. But the thing we say, as stand now, standardization, all those things, what they look for? The struggle still go day on. We go still, they, we feel no meet all the demand as we want. But if we do this thing for a while, we go get and right. Because nobody go get and right from day one. If we say we don't get our own right, nobody go one go chop the one for us. Before um, them, all these um, 2000, all those days where the plantation boys started to sing some. No, before in music, we all they consume. As the music don't good now, we never ever begin to carry the music come off of Nigeria. No. But there was so, not a ban in certain music to not uh, be listened to, so that we could listen to our local ones. No. Now, when our local one begin the good, gradually the one where they come for it, because part of waiting people they buy, if you do psychology of buying, is that people buy their own, their own culture. Because now my brother sing this song, or now my people do this rice or something, or now from my place this thing come from, I go buy them. Mm -hmm. Now, so it did mm -hmm. be. Mm -hmm. But in our process, now that process of achieving that goal, now it be the cocoa. Now, where we, everybody done the looking world. Now, first of all, no one do rice before. Go, go do rice. But, it, 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 and I, I beg to differ in terms of when it comes to food, because Nigerians have a flair for imported things. Whether we accept it or not. Nigerians yeah. believe, say, that the imported one, I get better quality. Nigerians, they wait for international community to accept our locally products before we actually accept them fully into our country. So it's a different story when it comes to food. Because if you want to take certain toothpaste now, if you bring imported toothpaste and put locally made toothpaste, even small people can pick imported toothpaste. 
it, from the way we have been, we have been cultured and we've been, we've been made to believe. So, 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 nah, we believe say important things. Now, those things. Nah, now, 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 change because nah, now you're you're see, so, how change are they going to change? Is what is becoming difficult because consistency is stand in quality. Now, it be the issue. Who goes I know the local. I know quality. they take, for example, I know the local toothpaste. Where when they start, they actually tried when, at the beginning, but now it be like say na shaft. You they still brush your teeth, and I can personally tell you, I cannot buy that brand of toothpaste. So, Locally produced. I buy them. It was okay at the beginning. But today, even like saying I just uh, chalk and they used to brush my teeth. And so what in what in say um, as much as we want to do and locally, there are things like ISO standardization, which is why we have standard organization of Nigeria. Um so that one now, you know say we did I know that talk. <laughs> I know that, that, that one. But gradually we they arrive there. We go get there. But it just be say by the time we arrive there, it may be. Some people may have lost some things, but we go arrive there. Standard, no be one day. If you do all these, um, all these Oyibo, Lean Sigma, all those process, uh, quality control, assurance processes, and all those standardization, what did they do? Well, even if you check cars, even cars, what did they bring enter Nigeria? Some, this brand, if you travel with one car between here and Abuja now, you go see what thing will happen to the car. The car will almost finish. You get somewhere, go travel, where go read there, the car go see stand. Now, just do standard. And their home country, they work for them. But for here, it will not be everything. We will go arrive at that point, at some point, when our own internal agencies <coughs> begin to take certain things serious. Mm -hmm. Like the local rice now, for example, from my experience, if you've, been, if you've taken all those uh, rice from uh, Niger State, you've taken rice from Abakaleke, those rice are very good. Yeah. Now, to do all that process, if you get the machinery, you go do it now. Somebody tell me, say, with 20 million naira, if you set up a whole full meal. 20 million it? naira. Wow, mm. that's yeah. not small money. Um, in addition, we, just, just quickly, before we actually um, wrap up this time, because time not be our friend. Now, how you go see our investment in agriculture so far, especially with this present administration? Because we know, say, now one thing, where they won't actually be do. Yeah, so they, they, they've really been working, at least as compared... I, they started during some part of last administration, but they've been consistent with it. They've been improving. They've been adding a lot of value to it. And then the value chain of agriculture has improved. You hear a lot of noise about agriculture. Almost everybody is in some sort of investment in agriculture now because there have been a lot of improvement. The, it's becoming an acceptable kind of thing we want to do because, you know, before we think farming is for some old people, people in the rural places, urban people are now doing it. I know friends who like um, who plant, who have farms in Badagri, who have in Ogun State, who have in Ibadan, you know, and they've been shedding more light on it, and they've been getting a lot of support, not just money, but siblings, um, tools, access to loan, mm -hmm. like the microfinance bank that uh, CBN just set up and all of that. Their main focus is to support agriculture and make it grow internally. So those things are the things that they need to do so that this border closure does not really affect you. And that's why they need this border closure to happen so that even people internally should now say, okay, I now see that, oh, I can go into agriculture. That's food production and food security comes in. Beautiful. Now, before you give us your last word on how we go fit um, advice to Nigerians and how we, we go fit to manage in this change season, what would they so? Because we don't know how Christmas will be. Um, looking at the healthcare, because we don't also see and see some of the things we then banned and certain medications in the healthcare, things like paracetamol, imported paracetamol, the tablet and the syrup has been banned. Things like chloroquine, also the syrup and the tablet has been banned. Items like multivitamins and so many other medications where they don't place a ban on for inside the country. And um, the locally produced ones, some of them are good. I have actually used some. But some of them are not so fantastic. How you think they will fit to also regulate, That's regulate okay. to make sure say certain fakes, no con certain exactly. fakes because this is healthcare and this is our body. What they talk about, how we fit to manage that scenario. So, so internally, um, the people where they do them now need to increase their own capacity first. Mm -hmm. Secondly, what thing I don't see for drug or for some of these things where they even call for in a packaging. Now, the way where you want to package and when person pass on for market, I look, I, I like this in our own buy. Now, the, that one will go, guys work on now. Then, number three, when we talk about this regulation, now, where we don't know, see, they don't ban this thing. We, we too, you too now, you know, even the inside drug or you know, be a regulator, you don't know, say, fake will come the plenty. Now, we too will come touch lights more, we will stay sharp, more will come the check, what thing they happen. 
we go feed trace. Because even we talk without border closure, without ban on all those drugs, people see they do the fake of that one where they talk to. So we now need to do the check pass waiting we get before. There'll be one time they ban the tramadol, all those things. Mm -hmm. People see the small go in after that time. So the thing is that we need to now do sharper. And then all this uh, verification of maybe you buy drug, you send text. You two do them. Because you know say mm -hmm. you, you nobody won't die. You know, last week I did hospital, I you know, I, I been get food poisoning. I buy food for Italy too now. <laughs> no, mm -hmm. and I'm big very big for Nigeria. I go buy breakfast. I send a food of yesterday, they said, give me food, no test, but at the end I land for hospital. So they so not be only that one, we go even look. All these other people where they do other things, where they a support the chain. A lot so of things. Thank you so much, Ian A.M. Ekudayo, in a business person, in a consultant, um, in a person where they actually analyze some of the, the policies where they happen for inside the business um, sector for Weobodo, Nigeria. Thank you very much for involving you. your mouth inside this border closure. To enjoy more of this, our Ubonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.